Battling a life-threatening illness is overwhelming. Now cancer patients are having to live with the fear that the chemotherapy meds they need may not be available when they need them. Brandy Zidi has been showing up every week for the past nine months for chemotherapy treatment in her battle against colon and liver cancer. The last thing the West Valley mom wants is another obstacle, another roadblock, an unexpected problem with her medication. I'm getting four different treatments, so it's very important, and I can't miss treatment, so I definitely need to have confidence in supply. <laughs> The 49-year-old from Surprise is one of many cancer patients feeling uneasy after hearing the news there's a major shortage of cancer drugs nationwide. These are drugs that we use all the time for cancer treatment. Dr. Amal Rakar is an oncologist with Palo Verde Cancer Specialists in Glendale. He says more than a dozen chemotherapy drugs are in short supply and it's forcing doctors to use different meds change doses and alter chemotherapy regimens for many of their patients. When you're a patient, you don't want to hear this, that, that there is a treatment available and then now for some unforeseen reason we cannot supply it to you. These have been the backbone of treatment for many different cancers, lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, almost every type of common cancer is impacted by this shortage. Cancer treatment centers like this one are doing all they can to avoid impacting patients, seeking out new suppliers, even borrowing certain meds from other offices. But it's not enough. The shortage is being blamed on supply chain issues, but Dr. Ricard is skeptical, since the drugs in demand are mostly inexpensive and have been produced in mass quantities for decades. Whatever the explanation is, the, at the end of the day, we need these medicines to provide the best treatment in a timely way to our patients. The FDA claims it's working to address the shortage, but they can't force drug manufacturers to make more meds or change their distribution. Doctors and patients worry things could get worse before they get better. Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.